Hey guys, thanks for coming back for the second episode of For the Love of Vinyl. In this episode, we're going to be talking about one of the pivotal, pivotal albums of my lifetime. Um, came out in 1992, Bon Jovi's Keep the Faith. And I have an import from Italy. See right here. Um, it's got some Italian writing right there. And you see the back. Um, this is easily in my top five Bon Jovi albums of all time. Uh, I saw the concert in 93. It's what actually, seeing them live is actually what made me want to be a musician. And um, without this concert, I, I, I wouldn't have discovered one of the greatest passions of my life. Um, and this uh, this album is filled with so many great songs. I mean, if you're not familiar, I mean... Oh, geez. I believe Keep the Faith um, in These Arms, Bed of Roses, which was a huge single for them. You have to remember, this was 92. And to be a hair band, or what was classified as a hair band, was the most uncool thing to be at the time. But yet they made a smash hit with Bed of Roses. They came back, and they weren't necessarily a hair band anymore. And one could argue that they never really were. It's just the image that the record company gave them and made them wear. But uh, And then they have their epic nine-minute song, Dry County, um, a really bass-heavy song called Fear, a ballad called I Want You, a fun little song called Blame It On, The Love of Rock and Roll. Um some I think one of the lyrics is it feels so good it ought to be illegal. I got my vaccination from a phonograph needle, which fits in perfectly with what we're talking about right now, vinyl. And then um, uh, the last track is a little bit of soul. And um, I would be remiss if I didn't mention track number six called If I Was Your Mother. It was Bon Jovi going out of Bon Jovi territory. It was almost in Ozzy Osbourne light Ozzy Osbourne territory. Um, but it was such a great album, such a great tour. Um, if you haven't heard this album, um, it is on Spotify and all the streaming services. Please stream it. If you want to buy it, please buy it legally. Uh, like I said in the last video, you don't know how many hours and how much blood, sweat, and tears go into making just one song. Um, so please don't be one of those guys or girls who steals the music. I know, I know it's so easy to do, but it's an art form. It, it takes a long time to really record music and thought about it. Just going away for free is just, it's, it's horrible. Um, but I highly recommend checking this out. Um, now, Bon Jovi has gone downhill um, in recent years. I was with them up until about 2008. I even liked their 2007 country album, Lost Highway. Um, they, I believe they were the first band to have a number one album on the country charts, the first rock band to have a number one album on the, the country charts, which was kind of cool. And um, after that, they had an album called The Circle, which had a good few songs i went to that concert and then after that what about now was the next album and richie sambora left um in the middle of the tour and he hasn't been back since and um their last couple albums have just really suffered without richie sambora who was the guitarist um but keep the faith came out in 92 right after John Bon Jovi did his uh, solo album, which was the soundtrack to Blaze of Glory, or I'm sorry, it was Blaze of Glory, the soundtrack to Young Guns 2. And then Richie Sembor, the guitarist, did his solo album, which is fantastic, called Stranger in This Town. Um, if you haven't heard those albums, I highly suggest picking those up as well. I don't have those on vinyl yet, but I hope to at some point. But getting back to this album, um, this isn't the typical... Bon Jovi that if you're a casual listener that you might be 
thinking of. This isn't the slippery one wet Bon Jovi. This isn't the New Jersey Bon Jovi. This is a new Bon Jovi. Well, it, for 92, it, it, it is a newer sounding Bon Jovi for the era. Um, and like I said, songs like If I Was Your Mother in Dry County and uh, Woman in Love, um, A Little Bit of Soul, things like that, I believe the very, very, very unhairbandish. So uh, please go, go check this album out. Um, and let me know below, what is your favorite Bon Jovi album? Do you like the band? Do you hate the band? Can you tolerate them? Um, what's your favorite song off this album? If you like this album, have you seen them live? What, what tour did you see them live on? Um, sound off below. And uh, we will pick up the discussion in the comments below. And until next time, guys, keep listening to the music. Subscribe to this YouTube station if you haven't. And also, please find us on Facebook and Twitter. Thanks for being here, guys. I always appreciate it. You have a great day.